Hello everyone, my name is James Rankin and um, I am kind of laughing to myself at the minute because I've just remembered that the last video I did, um, somebody who watched it, who shall be nameless, um, kind of compared my delivery style or tone, <laughs> whatever, to a certain Alan Partridge of North Norfolk Radio. Oh, it is, so uh, that's uh, kind of amusing. Me. Anyway, what am I here to talk about today? Today I'm going to talk about um, our Citrix Zen App and Zen Desktop 7.0 whatever actually different products because well the answer is they're not they're the same product they have the same code base and the different features within each one are activated by your license that you put on there and therefore obviously the the, the product version which is applied but I did have a bit of a sort of thing recently where I had a, a, a someone who kind of was very insistent that um, by referencing Zen Desktop we'd referenced completely the wrong product when it was in fact Zen App that should have been referenced. But it's not actually true because under the hood um, since version 7 they are actually exactly the same product just Zen Desktop gets a few more features when you apply the Zen Desktop license. So in case you have this same problem of trying to get this through to people, I thought I would just, you know, do a quick video demo. Carl Webster did an article about this, which pointed out all the relevant details, but I just thought I'd go a bit deeper, that it might um, be a bit handy to reference right now. So anyway, just so you can see what I'm driving at, I have a server here, where I've inserted the Zen Desktop 7.13 CD, yeah? So when you go in and run this, the first screen you get presented with, obviously past the splash screen, you get the option to choose, do you choose Zen App or do you choose Zen Desktop? And it kind of says, deliver applications for Zen App, which is kind of the old traditional way everybody thought Zen App, obviously was just for published applications. And then it says Zen Desktop, deliver applications and desktops. Obviously not strictly true, because you can do a shared hosted desktop from ZenApp as well on an RDSH server system. But anyway, does it really matter which one of these that you click? And if you've read Carl Webster's article, you, the, the thing at the top that he mostly says is no. So for instance, if I start installing what I think is ZenApp, you see when I click start, obviously it gives you this screen. And we look in Task Manager for the details, and the actual process is called Zen Desktop Install. So if we cancel out of that again, and run the auto select again, and select Zen Desktop this time, you will find that the process is indeed, and possibly a bit more kind of, um, sort of, you know, figuratively now, is also called Zen Desktop Install. So they're the same process that gets run when you do this. You get the same set of options. So whether you select Zen App or Zen Desktop on there, clearly um, doesn't make much difference at all. What have I just done there? I meant to sign out, didn't I? Okay, let's get off that machine. So anyway, I have created two machines already in my best blue paper machine. We have a couple of servers here. This one, uh, server 761, uh, we installed Zen Desktop. And I will prove that I installed the Zen Desktop option by looking in Programs and Features. And we have Zen Desktop 7.13. Ta-da! On this one, 7.62, sorry, 7.62 the machine is called. We go into Programs and Features, and we have Cyrix ZenUp 7.13. So there you go. This one is Zen Desktop. This one is ZenUp. So, what we have done on our license server, if we look here, we have put on the ZenUp licenses on there. So... At the minute, we are licensed for ZenApp Platinum, as you can see from there, where we are showing. So, what you would expect, if we go and create a machine catalog within here, let's just quickly create one that we're not too bothered about. Um, so, <clears throat> even though this is ZenApp, we get the option to do server OS, which you'd normally expect, or desktop OS. So you're thinking, what can we do with desktop OS? Uh, let's create a random desktop OS, and don't forget this is under Zen App. Let's just add a computer in here. If I can remember the name of one that's got the video online, doesn't matter if it's online or not. Let's just call it One. Okay, so we've created a catalog there called One. Now, if we go and try and create a delivery group in this instance, <coughs> 
So our catalog is a desktop catalog. And what you'll see is we only get the option to add applications. And this is a Zenap limitation. So because we've got a Zenap license on this Zenap install, we are being offered the chance <clears throat> only to add applications to our desktop um, desktop catalog delivery group. And that's because you've got the VM hosted apps option under Zenap. You are eligible for that under Zenap. So you can, for instance, publish, I don't know, you might have a bunch of Windows XP sort of clients there with the VDA installed. And you might want to run an XP only app from there from a, a Windows 10 machine or whatever it is you're running the, the, the Citrix receiver from. So you don't get the option, as you can see in here when you're creating this delivery group, to add anything around the desktop -y sort of thing. But as with Zenap, obviously, what we can do is create very much a server OS catalog. So let's create one there. So let's add uh, is it one and call that the really original name of two. And so if we go and create a delivery group from that catalog, you should see that we should get the option to add applications and add desktop assignments as well. Because we're using Zenapp and we've added a server um, OS catalog, we can now add server hosted desktop. So that's what you'd expect on a Zenapp machine with a Zenapp license being able to do zenapp -y sort of stuff. That all makes um, perfect sense, I would say. So let's just delete these catalogs to keep them neat and tidy. And then we shall flip over to our Zen Desktop machine, as I proved earlier that this has got Zen Desktop. So we've got Studio running on here. Again, let's create a catalog on here. I may have done one earlier, so there may possibly be already one here. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's delete that. Schoolboy error, not tidying up after myself. Before I start recording the demo, dear me. Um, right, anyway. Pretend that didn't happen. We just do exactly the same thing. So we shall create a catalog for desktop OS. And let's not forget this is Zen Desktop installed on it, not Zen App. Um, do exactly the same. Give it a random desktop. -y. Just add our computer. It's an unfortunate name for that machine. It's meant to say virtual desktop. Me, of course, having a really weird mind and not automatically interprets it as something else. If you can't pick up that reference, good on you because you're not um, clearly as um, potty minded as I am. Right, let's just create a delivery group for this, just repeat exactly the same. So you should say we will get the option, because it's a desktop um, catalog, to get the option to add applications, which we have here, which refers to VM hosted apps. No option for full desktops, which is what we'd expect. But, as I'm saying, this is a Zen desktop install that we have on here. But it's behaving as if it's Zen app. So if we do a server OS, again, bung a computer of VDN, finish up on that. Keith, who's Keith? Why am I getting team viewer alerts saying Keith is signing? I have no idea who Keith is. I must be signed in on someone else's team viewer account. I have been signed in on quite a few recently, so um, let that one pass. Um, right, so now we have the server OS in there. So let's create a delivery group using that uh, machine catalog now and get the option for applications and we get the option for desktops. So on the, the, the Zenap install over here, because we have a Zenap license, it behaves as if it's Zenap. And over here, just to say, make sure that I'm not telling porky pies. And if we go into programs and features, we do in fact have Citrix Zen desktop installed over here. We got exactly the same behavior over there, behaving as if it's Zenap. So, what would happen, just delete these catalogs, tidy up. If I then toddle across to my licensing server, and what I will do is, doodly -doo -doo -doo, I will log into it at first. If I remember the password. All right, and now we will add a license for Zen Desktop to this rather than the Zen App one. So let's just grab a license. We should have one stored over here. I can't remember which one's which now. <laughs> OK, 
I think BF1 is the Zenap license. So let's bung in that one. And overwrite the existing license file. And of course, I need to restart the vendor demon on there. Okay, just quickly did that. And now we have Zen Desktop in there as well. But what I want to do is actually take the Zen App ones out. So let's just get that done. That, of course, after I can't remove Zen App um, licenses because the point I'm trying to make is the Zen Desktop licenses actually include those Zen App specific licenses as well. So, um, Let's flip back to our servers in question. So, for instance, we'll start with this one, which was the Zen App server. If we go to licensing, we should say now we have Zen Desktop licenses in there as well, whereas we didn't have that before. We just had Zen App licenses. So, let's edit the product edition. We're currently on Zen App Platinum. Let's change it to Zen Desktop Platinum. And see how long it takes for that. And we can actually do the same on our Zen desktop server over here as well. Should have the new licenses in there. So let's switch this one from Zen App Platinum to Zen Desktop Platinum. Do that as well. Okay, so now we're on edition Zen Desktop Platinum on this Zen App server. And, sorry. Yes, that's right. I'm getting very confused here. That's the Zen App server over there, which is now on Zen Desktop Platinum. And this is the Zen Desktop server, which is now switched from Zen App to so Zen Desktop Platinum. So let's just start with our Zen Desktop server over here. And if we create another machine catalog. And now we have the option for remote PC access, which is a Zen desktop only feature. So we have that in there. But if we create a desktop or S, blah, 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 blah. And put it just random, doesn't really make any difference. Add in that computer account again. Call that number one. And if we create a delivery group from that. We should see that we get the option to add applications. And we can also add desktops. So we can create a full fat client published desktop from that now, which is fantastic. And interesting to so say now that we're on Zen Desktop, if we create a server OS and add, just add NVIDIA into there. Call that number two. Then go and create a delivery group from the server OS. We should be able to do exactly the same thing. We can create published applications of the server and we can create full desktops as well. So we get all of Zen App plus those little few extra features that are part of Zen Desktop. That's from the Zen Desktop machine. Now uh, let's just literally repeat that again. Over here, don't forget this is, as you can see from the title bar, this was a Zen App install, which has now been switched to Zen Desktop, just to prove that I'm not telling Porky Pies, there is Zen App listed in there. But if we create a catalog, exactly the same as we did before, again, we now have the remote PC access option in there, create a desktop OS catalog on this Zen App machine. Add the computer uh, um, call that number one. And if we go to create a desktop based delivery group from that desktop catalog, get the option for applications for the VM hosted apps feature again and for full desktops in there as well. And just to complete the circle, we'll now do a server OS one. Add in this video here, call that number two, do the delivery group as we did earlier, use that one, and we can do applications, we can do desktops. So there it is, Zen, Zen App and Zen Desktop are exactly the same, it just means 
If you apply the Zenup license only, you don't get things like um, remote PC and you can't deploy a desktop from a Windows client delivery group, a VDI kind of delivery group. You can only do a desktop from RDSH. But it doesn't matter whether you install Zenup or Zen Desktop on there. It just matters which license you've paid for and which license you put in there. The two products, the code base is completely and utterly the same. So there you go. Um, just a very quick one. Now, it is interesting just to quickly note that originally when Zen Desktop 7 came out, they did kind of, they were kind of on top of this because it was called, it came in two flavors and it was almost like they were additions. So the problem we've got is the customer thinks Zen App and Zen Desktop are different products. And some people think that they're different products in the same way that there were different products before version 7. You had Zen App 6.5 or 6.x and you had Zen Desktop 5.x and they were two separate products. Now they've kind of been merged together under this single code base. Originally it was called Zen Desktop, which was the full edition, which we're referring to as Zen Desktop now. And then it, the other one was called Zen Desktop App Edition. So it kind of gave the impression that it was the same product because they were both called Zen Desktop. It was just a different edition, the App Edition, which is essentially exactly what they are. And then Citrix kind of backtracked a bit because people were saying, oh, we like the Zen App sort of name. But they've kind of shot themselves in the foot here because it was very obvious Zen Desktop and Zen Desktop App Edition were the same product just different editions. Zen App and Zen Desktop, unfortunately, some people still think they are different products. They aren't, as we've just proved there, they aren't. So it is a bit confusing. It is a bit confusing um, like that. It's, it's kind of like, you know, you've got Windows 10, comes in various different editions, but it's all called Windows 10, Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Professional, Windows 10 Enterprise, Windows 10 Education. So nobody's going to ever say, oh, Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Enterprise are not the same thing, but they are. They're just different editions, and I think that's what Citrix should have stuck with that Zen Desktop App Edition moniker, really, um, after this. I really think they do. But anyway, um, that's that. I can't believe it's taken me 17 minutes to answer the question, <laughs> which I said would answer. Are, are Zen Desktop and Zen App the same product? The answer is yes. There is no difference between them, so if you refer, really, they should all be referred to as Zen Desktop, in my opinion. That's as simple as I can put it. And should you want to see a full rundown of the feature matrix, um, you could get it from this address, um, sirix.co.uk slash products slash zenup dash zen desktop slash feature dash matrix HTML, which tells you all the differences between the two. But Zen desktop has a few extra features. Um, that's about all there is to it. Um, so hopefully somebody might find this useful because I wish somebody else had recorded something like this so I could have proved my point a lot more faster. A, a lot faster, really, rather than a lot more faster. So there you go. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.